Hello everybody, welcome to my channel if you are new, welcome back if you are not new. My name is Pentahybrid, and this is my holiday special of Listitis. I was asked by many of you awesome viewers to give you at least one more episode before Volume 2 began, and of course, I obliged. I felt this list would fit the season perfectly, and I hope you all enjoy it. We as video gamers all enjoy ourselves a great snow environment in a game. They are oftentimes gorgeously made, and have great music. That is the case with all 10 of these games. Now as per usual, you may be surprised with some of the entries on here. I don't like to make cliche choices as much as most other people do, but some of them also might be expected. So just enjoy the video and let me know what you think. Number 10. White Glacier Stage. At least the first half of the area, named Blizzard Peaks, was one of my favorite stages from the 64 era. I loved Bomberman 64, and this level was close to the end, like most Snow Ice levels. The boss fights were great, the music was phenomenal, and I remember fondly playing out in my good friend's yard pretending that we were white and black Bomberman during the winter. Snowballs make excellent fake bombs. Number 9 Ice Cap Zone it should be well established by now, mostly thanks to my Sonic Appreciation series of episodes, that Sonic 3 isn't my favorite Sonic game. But when it comes to great snow levels in a video game, I would be cast out and shunned by the gaming community if I didn't even mention this great level. The music was written by Michael Jackson, and that opening snowboarding by Sonic is hard to beat. Number 8 Chill Penguin Stage. Mega Man X is my favorite Mega Man game, at least until the amazing Mighty Number no. 9 comes out, maybe. Chill Penguin has one of the hardest levels, and clever mobs to go along with it, but it's given this amazing atmosphere due to how they did their art direction, which was very hard to do back then. And the great tune that hits your ears full force as soon as you start playing just tops it off so well. Number 7. The Battle of Hoth, Shadows of the Empire still stands today as my favorite Star Wars video game and the opening stage on the ice planet Hoth, playing as part of one of the biggest battles for the Rebel Alliance, was as nerve-wracking as it was fun. Wrapping up the AT-ATs and AT-STs with the cable and seeing them tumble to the ground was so damn enjoyable. A classic and well-remembered snow level in gaming. Number 6. North Wall. Act Razor is one of my favorite classic games. I remember North Wall Act 1 rather fondly. It wasn't an easy level, which most should know about now that snow and ice levels are rarely ever easy. The level had both soothing music and a great art style to go along with it. They really put their heart into this level, and it goes to show that no matter how challenging a level can be, even if it's a snow level, they are beautifully overpowering. Number 5 Snow Peak Ruins Twilight Princess was such a good game. Not my favorite Zelda game by any means, but it was so good. Snow Peak had clever puzzles, a couple really beautiful vistas, and a neat backstory to go with it. And snowboarding as Link is always a good time. Besides, what Zelda fan could ever forget this? <laughs> Number 4 Sherbert Land A classic track from Mario Kart 64, I realized that they had redone it and apparently did a great job for Mario Kart 8, but the 64 version is too hard to beat, I'm sorry. Drifting around all the penguins in the tunnel, trying your best to get the right angle for leaping over the crevices no matter the risk, just for a few extra inches ahead of the person behind you. It was a great track, and one of the most fun to play on. Oh, and per usual, the music is great. Number 3 The Island of Solstheim Morrowind is a heavy contender for my all-time favorite game, and the game, aside from Baldur's Gate 2, that I measure all RPGs from. 
It had one of the greatest worlds and amazing ambiance, but the DLC pack Blood Moon took you across the Sea of Ghosts and onto the island country of Solstein. Werewolves, Horkers, and the amazingly gigantic ice castle are all things to look forward to seeing around this massive tundra in the sea. Number 2 The Painted World of Ariamis This was so close to being number one, and I have to admit my love for Dark Souls was a big reason there, but on its own, the Painted World was fantastic to explore and completely optional which just added to its charm and beauty. I love the lore behind it, the music is great, the two bosses are phenomenal, and of course I love the stupid fucking skeleton wheels. Praise the sun. And number one. Can you tell, just by the music, what snow level made it to number one? Well, just give it a listen. Fendrana Drifts. Metroid Prime's Fendrana Drifts location is the high point of that game. The atmosphere is at its peak, no pun intended, and a huge environment change from the depths of Magmur to the corridors of Chozo Ruins and the deep grottos of the Talon Overworld. Not saying Fendrana didn't have its share of creepy derelict towers to go along with it, damn them space pirates, but when can you solve a puzzle by putting Samus on a halfpipe in her morph ball? You have yourselves a win. Thank you so much for watching this holiday special of Listitis, counting down the days until Volume 2 starts. <laughs> Only a few more, and then you can feast on my countdowns like you used to. In the meantime, I hope you continue to enjoy my other videos and continue to support me and grow my channel like you have been doing. I don't aim to be a powerhouse on YouTube, but the little bit of a following I have already is so amazing. I can't thank you guys enough for helping me reach this point only in under a year. Always remember to send, share, and post my content out there for your friends who you think might enjoy it as much as you do, and encourage them to support me just like you do. We can continue to do great things on this channel. You are all amazing, and so until Volume 2 starts, my name is Pentahybrid, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and I will catch you later. Thank you.